Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of American Front Simulator. Uh, we've been just parking in Vegas in route to Tanopa to load up. And I don't believe we are heading to um, Colorado. Pueblo. 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 I don't know. So. Well, probably Pueblo. Uh, Pueblo. You are from Pueblo, and you would like to front us on our pronunciation. Oh well. Oh, good start. <laughs> well. Nice. A bit early in the <laughs> game for a wide slice fix. Just so going to wait a few seconds. Do that again. Oh. <laughs> good job. Good service. Yeah. Just whack your CV yeah. back on. Yeah, you can see the jelly in Vegas. Yeah, you can always turn her off for you. The straight third for the above the camera. So we've got an initial 350k's to go just to pick the load up. Then we're going to go yeah. all the way over to Colorado, so it should be a good draw. So what we're doing right now is truck is nightmare really especially an owner driver driving you know so four hours better load on yeah yep. a lot of money in this better thankfully um this is just a game uh, in case you guys haven't noticed um but sean and i also employ drivers they're making money for us and that's why I can afford these nice trucks so we can go and go and go and go Yeah, I could retire if I wanted to to be fair. Not in real life, real life there are four people in this world. No, in real life I couldn't afford to get a chicken nugget, so. It's alright, you can pick the computer bro. <laughs> I've told anyone about that yet, um, the hiatus yet, the uh, new computer, actually mentioned that much on the channel? Oh, uh, I touched on it briefly, but yeah, new computer at the moment, but he did do an unboxing video, but then I broke something on the computer, so I didn't think I really, didn't get a very good quality unboxing and shit, but maybe I'll try and do something with it, it's still on my phone, so... that up one one day. Yeah. You know while since you've come up this way in Nevada. I like just the two lanes where you've got oncoming traffic right next to you. Yeah it reminds you home a bit of Yeah. Except we're on the other side I'm, of the I'm, road. I'm, yeah. I'm mortified of these roads in the life of me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I would need that experience once. So I was driving um, in between. I'm not sure where I was. I was somewhere country Queensland, somewhere between Gympie and Middlemere, but I was sort of headed to Queensland, but I didn't go up the coast. Uh, I'm not sure why, just follow the GPS and keep it all fine, good. But uh, what had happened, we were on a road very similar to this one, except Australia, so it was trees, or bushland. There was a, tra a truck, I'm not sure if it was a, uh, I don't think it was a road train, it probably was a speed level. Flatbed, I was a or something similar to what I've got here. We stacked full of hay. Yeah. And it lost like one of the hay bales. The hay bales were like as wide as the trailer. And then, um, what's that? Yeah, two meters, so probably two meters wide by, I don't know, 
1.75 per meter wide and at that in height as well. Yeah. One of them had fallen off this truck and it was just like sitting in the middle of the road. So I'm smashing along about 100. So probably a bit over 110. Sorry, boss, if you listen to this. <laughs> Put down the old work a bit, that's all right. Um, yeah, next thing you know, there's, I come around the corner and there's just a big fuck off bale of hay sitting in the road. Yeah, right. I managed to get, a, get around, but luckily there was no one behind me, so I could get on the brakes pretty quick. Speaking of getting on the brakes pretty quick. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> oh, I think it's too touchy in this scene. I have to go around. Oh. That's right, I'll just chill behind you. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, so I caught up to the truck and I got him on the radio and let him know what happened. And uh, yeah, you can see where there was a spot missing in the back of the truck and all that. Ratchet strap hanging off the side. Jesus. All that. But, yeah, this looks like the ratchet strap had uh, snapped. So, uh, yeah, no use crappy ratchet straps. <laughs> Because that could have ended real life. Like, I was a bit further up the road and I was right behind him when that happened. Yeah. I like, very easily. Uh, like, way a fair bit, hay bales. Oh, yeah, man. It was smashed my windscreen. I would have run off the road, probably just smacked a tree or something. Well, at that speed, too, well, yeah, I probably would have been dead. Yeah. Those oh. work vans, I'm not sure if anyone here are familiar, but I drive a toy out of high ads for work. Um, when cars are like crash tested, look for the thing called like the crumple zone. The Toyota high ace, the crumple zone is legs. Oh. Pretty much. That's not good. <laughs> uh, and um, it, it also works out and figured out that um, if you ever rear end tilt tray, you probably get decapitated. Well, that's keep away. Yeah. <laughs> Although you may it may seem as though we do have the drive at this point. It's always sketchy sitting behind the log trucks around here. Well I've been watching like final yeah. destination and shit. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I just hate it, I hate sitting behind them. I always try to like sit back or overtake them. Yeah, in reality, much. those logs, um, yeah, they're not powerful, they're all chained in them. Yeah, they use chains <laughs> on those, not straps, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. But, um, it's full on. There'd be no surviving a log through the bloody window, though, I don't think. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's still in the back of my head. I know it's like, <coughs> I know it's on there, but you know. I think the worst one to for me. I don't know if there's much of this fleet or at the world, so we do travel through like rural South Wales and rural Queensland. I know overtake a fair few road trains that were like um, that were running cattle. Yeah. And I know you used to live in all these like rural areas, so Sean, you're probably aware of what that's like. Yep. Trying to do that like a four cylinder Toyota van. It's a bit um it's a bit iffy, but normally um stuff like that you just get them on the radio to confirm it is safe to pass and all that. Normally they'll back it down a little bit to let you through as well. Yeah. They're normally pretty so good. Left out of their mind or something. <laughs> At the end of the day, they're all professional drivers. They'll know what they're doing. No. Most of them. <laughs> I'm not, not going to go and say all of them. Yeah, when you get to the concrete industry. Yeah. Quality of the concrete. Most, most all of them. Even like the ringers and the drop post trucks and stuff. Oh, yeah. Shout moon in. Yep. You've got two extremes, don't you? You've got too much braking and then not enough. 
It's better with <laughs> pedals though, eh? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's a lot easier to judge. Yeah, what does the pedal feel like compared to... Compared to... Like okay. a car? Uh, it's... It's, oh, hard. Wow. it's pretty close. What is it right here? Yeah, right there. Is, I don't know the same No, same, same place, I just wasn't paying attention. What are you taking in plows, is it? Uh, one sec. I'll let you know when I get in there. Take the corner. Hello, Okay, cool. Might have to wait for you to move here. Not a collision, still a collision zone out here, so... Oh, wow, it's going to be... Interesting spot to find out. Let's see how we go, shall we? It looks interesting. That's an interesting line. It's got to be low, low. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to back this if I need to. Yeah, I got plows too, bud. So, same load. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It is very interesting. Um, I'm going to reverse a bit. Yeah, that's um... Throw it right over to the corner, I guess. Let's see what they kind of just chuck it on. Yeah. Oh, a bit of... Bit hard to judge where the lines are without going out of the cab view. But... We should be right here, I reckon. Oh, yeah, no, that's just not... Mine's all bad. good. Uh, <laughs> Good job. <coughs> Mine's all loaded and strapped down with. Are they ratchet straps? <laughs> Probably. Couldn't Sorry. imagine a plough coming off, that'd be fun. Yeah, it would be on the uh, They look like ratchet straps. Probably, yeah, they would be. Oh, I'll go out here and. Oh, yeah. Are you going out too? Yeah, maybe I'll just... That's not gonna end well, surely. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have... Nah. Pass that pole like that. Oh no. She'll go. Diff lock. Nah, she'll go. I wonder if piss off better guard. It's a road trainer. You have another crack at it, are you? Yeah. Um, just to talk about some current events. So I heard, I don't know how many people watching this Australian. Um, hopefully none of them are New South Wales supporters, it will be quite frustrating with this, but um, NRL star Jarrett Hayne um, oh, yeah. was charged uh, with rape, oh, believe, or sexual assault, or... You say like, Jarrett like, Hayne? Yeah, Jarrett Hayne. Yeah, right. Played for Parramatta. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he also played for Australia. One sec, guys, we'll be back on the other side of this. Oh, so minor technical glitch, we're back now. Oh, I haven't heard about that one. Yeah, I'll just get some, um, I think we've got it off the phone or something. Uh, okay, oh, he also played rugby union. And he played for the San Francisco 49ers for a brief period. I remember that, yeah. So, Hunt was playing AFL, I think. Yeah, he probably got there some, yeah. yeah. Um, so he got charged for being guilty of sexual assault in all the on the night of the 2018 Canada final. That was a while ago. Yeah. Um, it's still no good, but, you know. Yeah. Is it, he's 
going to jail. Bail on bail was set at fifty thousand. He gets sentenced. Again, you don't drive a truck with a keyboard, do you? So. Yeah. Well. Back into it. Slight. Technical difficulty. Wasn't that technical? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to tell. Farmer or whoever had to do their job, but I'm pretty sure if you put your mind to it, you could get all three of these players on one deck. Yeah. Absolutely good, I reckon. Or two. Uh, Ma maximum two. Because they are uh, fairly long. More money for that If you lose a gear or something, bud. Uh, take this. Oh, one do one. I think it's still one. That one's sixth gear. There we go.
Pills show? Yeah, I was looking at that the other day, but I sort of thought it was about Chappelle Corby. No. I had a look into it, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, it's pretty good laugh for you, I think, isn't it? Good show. You know, <laughs> good show. Yes, good show. Um, good channel for DC culture and the Me Too movement. Um, and a few of the other assorted movements that have happened in the past year or so. It's a fair whack of stuff that hasn't exactly aged well. Oh, yeah. But it, you know, it's the cause of the chuckle. It's like watching old episodes of South Park. Or new episodes of South Park. It's just a still fun. It's just a sh- it's just a show. Yeah, so. South Park still makes me laugh. Sometimes I wonder how they're oh. still on the air. No. That's three. <laughs> Good job, James. I think the kennel works a bit longer than that Peter Boone. Fuck, how much longer? <laughs> yeah, wait. Well, we do a lot, we do a lot. Accident, we'll see on the There's a long way to go, buddy. <laughs> Thousand guys. They draw the thousand guys without having to use them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Real life, please. I'll leave that when I see it. In the game, that is.
Yeah, I'm a hold you. No more accidents, buddy. 915 k's to go. Can he do it? That's the challenge for today's video. Using a lot of the road there. I like it. Just to ensure that he gets around there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, to be fair, I hit the invisible wall. So we'll call that a technicality. I was trying to go around. Call that shit. Holy fuck. Actually, I'll say that line. Oh, mate. Particular line after a truck gets rolled in Cockwall. Should have bought me a pack. <laughs> so, right, the real viewers will know what you're talking that? about. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Convoy, go check it out. I've never seen it done. It's cool. <laughs> How does that relate to the trucking group? <laughs> <laughs> they don't technically swim either, they just like float. Oh, they dive under. Do they? Yeah. They don't like swim though. Yeah, they can swim in the water. I've never seen that. Well, I've seen them on top of the water and like just stick their heads under and shit, but. Ducks, feel free to hit that subscribe button and leave a like <laughs> for more of this consistent Patreon content. Patreon and OnlyFans coming soon. You reckon? Yeah, Ducks is going on the water for about a minute at a time before. There yeah, right. are, I didn't know that. Not really road train friendly roads. I'm going alright. It's a bit easier on a yeah, wheel though. Yeah, Not gonna lie to you. Fifty dollar keyboard. <laughs> seven years ago. So well, yeah, it's, it's seven years ago. Yeah. Right. How long have we been mates now? Longer than that. Too long. Too long? <laughs> uh, 2011, 2012, maybe something. Yeah, 10 years, 9 years. Maybe we go on. Start of next year, not 10 years. Yeah. It's 10, 10 years. Oh. Is that a venture in real life? Oh, not yet. One day. Come down here for work, we'll have a chat, mate. We'll have a beer. Okay. How long do we have on this job to start with? Because we're kind of creeping through, aren't we? Um. It's about 200 k's, so I'm going to put it out. 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 I'm Okay. Engine oh, malfunction. Might do a cheeky oh, okay. Y slash fix while we cruise. There we go. Oh. oh, hang on, wait. There we are. Oh, I like it. 
He's new manager, so I mean. I have to make like a compilation of these videos of you crashing. Just like compile it all together and make a video out of it. Because there's been a yeah. fair few accidents. Yeah. You do it on purpose, don't <laughs> I don't know which would be worse to say no or say yes. <laughs> Not really, no. Just number one. Mm -hmm. You can get a mod to get an L plate on your truck. I do say NAB would just be uh, pronounced NAB. Yeah, right. You know the bank? NAB. NAB. It doesn't have a K in it though, does it? NAB. NAB. <laughs> it was like K-A-N-A-B. Can that? Oh, <laughs> oh, mate. The long run, this is like super hell. Surely they can hold the play or something. <laughs> Can't do anything to need to overtime. Oh, we're well, pretty through Selena, so I'm pretty sure that's where we took off in the last episode. Oh, okay. You guys haven't checked, haven't seen that episode, I'll look it up at the top right and check that out. Be sure to check that one out. Oh, first, of so this, first of this series, we're going to be playing this a fair bit, I think. Restart the series back up. Another one. This is why you don't try to save children. <laughs> I hope we'll see you on the other side of this kablam. So, we're all good here. Here we are. James cut me off again. All good. Let's have to check my uh, steering components after that. Is that? I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, so, we had a look at it. It actually uh, all joined. Give away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my fault. Just fix that oh, up. Hey, we're building a tunnel there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Could you imagine doing a ball joint on the side of the road and a bloody trip? Oh. Uh, After you just crashed the door. idea. Uh, I'll be driving this so, True. So, I think yesterday I bought like 10 garages and upgraded about 30 of them. And about two built shy of the pretty great of those devices. 
Yes, I have six to go in the bottle, seven to is to get every garage set up with five trucks, except for maybe two or three garages need to have trucks in. Yep. Then, what has to happen if we try to get the highest fuel? The might just buy like a fleet of low loaders, those triples. I reckon they'd be your best bet because they have all the like wide loads and stuff on the tractors and everything on them. Yeah, all the heavy cores. Best bet for cash, I think. That's something we should um, also get into the single player aspect of this. It's a heavy core drums, so they're quite interesting. They're yeah. very, very tedious. Yeah, 
Oh. <laughs> you say you don't or you do want it? <laughs> Jesus. Yes. You're ready ahead of me there, bud. Burn me off. Please pull in for a vehicle inspection. No. Fail to stop. That one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologise to me, apologise to the farmer's fence that you just got through. <laughs> Fuck. I don't lie to it. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Alright, back on the road again. I won't lie to you, America. I did have relations with that fence. <laughs> That's my truck. I'm sorry. Well, how much damage do you have right now? Oh. Station here, bud. Do you reckon you'll be right? Oh. Yeah, thinking about it, are you? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's not. <laughs> Oh well. We'll see what happens. How much you got? Got got enough. <laughs> now we'll find out. Four hundred Ks, alright. It is a diesel. Yeah, it's 
Seven, even though I technically had one too. So Yeah, where we always crash. We've got to roll. 
the road through the east line. Why is it back on the road then? See what happens. Yeah, it looks a bit airy up there for sure. Imagine doing this at midnight. Is it triple? No. It might be funny if it puts a headlight, see? Bugger that. At a hundred kilometers an hour. Is that right? So I'm going to start at the bottom of the hill. Doing mine at 110. It's not really ideal. Like if there's a car coming the other way in the room. Oh, you'd probably be alright. The car doesn't much. Yeah. I don't know about my conscience. I might feel bad about it afterwards. Uh, yeah. It's like it could never be a train driver there. Yeah. Apparently they just like you with the eyes. Like sting it there. Yeah. Right. Screw that. Yeah. Can't exactly stop though, I suppose.
the mid fourth coast. They're flooded at the moment. Looks like, yeah, man. Looks like it's video footage of a road that I've driven down before. It's just a. Yeah, it's a boat of water. Um, yeah, man, I've got the next level. Yeah. Should be right. That's still revealed. 
Yes. With this Logitech, you've got to actually push the clutch in fairly firmly to get it to go into gear. That's why I struggled with that. Okay. Take over the workshop from the wider thing. <laughs> Alright. See if we can get it straight. Looks like we're going pretty good here. There we go. We'll see how we went in this job, boys. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I don't have to decouple it. Excellent. Oh, we made 88,640, which I believe was the maximum that we could have made. No damage penalty. Urgent delivery bonus, and we leveled up to 488,732. <laughs> so. All around, it's a pretty good effort. A few, few mishaps around the place, but that's alright. We, we had fun doing it, so we'll end the episode there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Catches.